Um, Kanye and Keanu are out for the season. Um, going over the film against LSU. Players play hard in the first half. We didn't execute, like I said, in the second half. But it's still promising. You know, uh, we're close. You know, but like I said before, there's no more victories in football. We got to get better. And as long as my guys continue to improve each week, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the Bruins. Yeah, those injuries, two important guys. How bad do you feel for them and, you know, losing them for the year? Yeah, anytime you have season end injuries, it's, it, it, it's not a, it, it sucks. So, you know, I feel for those guys and um, just one positive, you know, we get it back next season. So, Keanu, about that. Keanu was in Achilles. What was Kanye? Yeah, they were both out. Okay. Yeah. Same thing for both there. No, it's just two season into injuries. Okay. Uh, don't want to make any assumptions, but is this a uh, reflection of playing at 8, 8 p.m. on uh, Saturday, this practice time? No, I just wanted to change uh, my Monday around a little bit to give the coaches just a little bit more time to to um, game plan and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's a quick turnaround first thing in the morning on Monday morning, so I just wanted to change the rhythm of, of that. So will you do this going forward? Or? Think, uh, every Monday? Um, I think maybe, you know. Um, we'll see how practice goes. But what is your reaction to 8 p.m. start? I think it's the latest since you played uh, uh, in '99 <laughs> uh, against. You were at Ohio State had an 8 p.m. start at, at the uh, horseshoe there. It's very disrespectful. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's um, it's okay, you know. Um, it's the old conference at dark, at night. What was it called? Back, back on the dark. There you go. Right there. Big ten after dark. Exactly. That's what that's what it is. But you know, it's a two West Coast teams, so the time shouldn't be too too bad for either one of us. But you know, uh, we might have. I mean, we'll play any time really, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. But you know, the, the Roswell should be rocking at eight o'clock. So yeah, looking uh, looking to forward towards Saturday. Anything about that Oregon offense that sticks out? Any plans to stop that? They got some explosive players. Quarterback's really good. Uh, got 15s fast out there, receiver. Um, 20s a good running back. So they got a good old line. So it's just an explosive offense, you know. Lefty, that quarterback. So, you know, we just got to find ways to keep them off the field and, you know, shorten this game and, and play our ball, our brand of ball. How are you measuring success in the run game right now? Because like we look at the, we look at it simplistically in terms of like yards gain, but you mentioned like staying ahead of the chains and stuff. So how are you measuring that success right now? It's it's baby steps. You know, we uh, it might not be the numbers that we want, but it's it's improving each week. You know, so I just like that uh, guys are staying at they're chomping at the bit. They want they want to be able to run the ball. You know, so. I know you guys talked to TJ last week, and they want to be able to run the ball. And I just think as long as we can continue to make strides in the right direction, you know, eventually we get to exactly where we want to be. If I can just rephrase the question quick, even when the yards aren't coming, like what is the run game? Are they contributing anything else offensively? Is, is it blocking an asset? Like what, what, what do you mean? Who? Like it, are they? Who is that? Like what? It's like the the running backs. You saw TJ catch screens and yeah other stuff out of the backfield and he's been successful in other things so you know the numbers might not be exactly what you guys want them to be but as long as we're keeping defenses off balance I think we're okay. Well, Jalen obviously flashed again uh, against LSU. How much closer is he to maybe even getting involved earlier in, in games and getting some touches? What position is Jalen play? Uh, Burton. Uh, oh, running back. Running back. So. <laughs> There's another running back flashing and giving us some good plays. So, you know, it was just it was just another guy we can get in the mix. Keegan had a couple good runs in there also. So, you know, like I said, there, it's a, it's an improvement. The run game is coming along. It's it's um I'm not gonna say it's dormant or anything like that, but you know, it's it's getting there. And you know, if you're comparing it to other seasons, then yeah, it might not be exactly where we want it to be, but. I'm confident that eventually it'll be exactly what we want. So, Coach, I wanted to ask about a couple of players. Um, Sharif said, I believe this is uh, his only year of eligibility left, and we're shocking. We're already a quarter of the way through the, through the season. You know, what's his status? Um, it's getting there. I think um, <laughs> this probably be the game that you'll see him get a little bit more playing time. But it's you know you have to. You have to be ready to go. You know, we don't want to put people in bad situations. So, you know, it's more of a 
make sure he knows everything that he's doing and, and uh, physically ready to go. Is that the same thing with uh, Collins on Champon? Um, Collins is on scout team. He's actually coming, you know, his, he had a couple injuries that he's fighting through right now. So, you know, we like that uh, that he's still out here every day and still trying to improve. With uh, Carter Shaw, we talked about him a little bit after the game the other day. Um, obviously, you know, his dad, David Shaw. Do you, do you see any reflection of, you know, his dad being a very smart football coach, football mind in, in, in Carter? Do you see anything that kind of, you know, makes you think, hey, this guy, this guy's pretty sharp. Maybe that, maybe that was uh, something he got from his dad. Um, I think his dad played three sports at Stanford. I'm not sure. So... Yeah, I think you guys should check that out. I think he played three sports, so most definitely he got a lot of that from his dad. Also his mom too, but you know, he's a, he's a talented kid and he can, he's pretty good when he has the ball in his hand, so I'm just excited that he's on our side. Quasi, uh, obviously, you know, had a nice uh, game. Uh, how much more do you hope to maybe get him involved in the offense, uh, depending on what happens with uh, Titus' status? Just continue to make plays, you know. Um, guys go down, other guys get opportunities, and you should just try to make the best of your opportunities. And I'm just glad that Carter being a freshman in that type of environment, he was able to make a lot of plays, and, you know, hopefully we can just build off from that. Femi, Femi started at edge the last game. Um, just how is his versatility and his attitude to maybe been an asset to this team? Um, he's just somebody that's always positive. You know, he's, he's a true team player. He wants to find ways to help the team no matter what. So, you know, it was, it was a, that was a position that we, were, we wanted to get a little bit more depth and, you know, try to create ways to get more pressure. And, you know, Femi was all for it because, you know, if you can be somebody that has a few tools on your tool belt, you know, when you get to the next level, that's, 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 that's pretty good for you. Uh, Progo started over uh, Makahele this last game. Uh, what went into that decision? Say it again. Uh, Nikki Progos uh, started mm -hmm. over uh, Makahele. Mm -hmm. um, Progo's just a guy that's trending up. You know, uh, he started at right tackle in the first game, and you know, just the fact that uh, he can play multiple positions and be a walk-on is just uh, he's, he's just special. You know, so you know, he's just a guy that we know we can rely on. He's going to be in the right spots at the right time, and you know, we're just trying to get him more reps. Is that competition basically opened up for this week, or are you already leaning one way or another? Which one? Oh, uh, right guard. Um, I would probably say that, you know, bearing some injuries happen, but it probably is just going to be fun. Do you go from an 8 p.m. start to a 9 a.m. body clock uh, start against Penn State? Is that just kind of life in the Big Ten right now? And I, I got a game at 8 o'clock. That's all I'm, I'm focused on. So. That other game, that's that's for you guys to talk about. We got a game at 8 o'clock this Saturday at the Rose Bowl, so we're going to lock in on that, and that could be the first question next week. Okay. Are you, are you still going to work out at 5 a.m.? I don't even know if I should tell what time I'm out there working out because we could have people trying to jump oh. out there. The field, so, you know, I um, I just train sometime during the day, you know, some, some, sometime during the day. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks.